Hello folks and welcome to some codecs. In today's video I want to show you how to use Daedalus, which is my generative synthesizer I designed in Plug Data. And don't worry if you have zero experience with Plug Data or Pure Data, this video is made for you also. If you already know how to use it, how to set up Plug Data, you can skip to this video chapter. Now, the first thing you need to do is to download Plug Data, which is a visual programming language. So this is the website, you select download. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So choose your operating system and download your version. During installation, make sure to select both the standalone application, which is the one we're going to use right now, and the plugin version. It comes in three different forms, um, LV2, which is for Linux, VST3, we all know what is a VST, and CLAP version. Select the one you normally use because later on we're going to see how to use uh, Plug Data as a VST and how to run Daedalus inside your DAW. Once it's installed, you can run Plug Data, and this is a blank project. Now you can enter this menu, you can enter settings, here paths, and here you have listed all folders for projects, externals, and abstractions, which are packed versions of patches. We need to locate the abstraction folder, in my example is under user, public documents, plug data, abstractions. You locate this folder and you put the daedalus.pd file. Double click, you write daedalus, you press enter and this is Daedalus. Now you only need to follow a few more steps that are add an output module, very simple, double click, output, tilde, press enter. Now you take the Daedalus output pin, you send it to the left signal and it's done. It will automatically set the output both for the left and right channel. Now in order to tweak all these parameters, you need to enter the performance mode. Right now we are in edit mode, as you can see here, you'll need to click this icon run mode. I can press buttons and turn on and off things, move sliders and knobs. Last but not least, make sure to check your audio interface. So main menu, settings, audio, in here, like every software, you can select your device configuration, your input and output devices. Now, make sure to turn on the volume on your output module and as you'll press start, Daedalus will start producing sounds. Make sure to turn on the main out and the sequencer one or two. Now, what is Daedalus? Daedalus is a dual sequencer generative synthesizer. As we can see, we have sequencer 2 and sequencer 1. I know they are inverted, by, uh, but I, I'm lazy and I don't want to change them. Anyway, we have two sequencers and the purple color shows things related to notes, while green shows things related to audio. So everything passes through corruption. If corruption is set to zero, like in this example, we can turn on the synthesizer, we are going to hear a fixed sequence. Now let's turn on the volume and let's take a listen to sequence one. This melody will loop and play again and again. And no matter, no matter if we change octave or we change scale, because our, our corruption is set to zero. But if we turn it on, we can see that one step turned purple 
meaning that the seventh step on sequencer 2 will now randomly select a different note every time it receives a trigger. Now, in order to make it more audible, we can change octave. And this way, when the sequencer will reach this seventh uh, step, it will produce the note in octave above. As you can see, all green toggles, all green steps are turned on. These are the envelope outputs. So every time the sequencer is sending a trigger, it will trigger every single step. Now, as we increase the corruption knob, you can see that more and more steps will be affected by corruption. So they will produce different notes. Let's have a listen. Now all eight steps are changing note randomly every time they receive a trigger. The same behaviors applies to the bit flip. Bit is a synonym for step, so if you increase bit flip, as you can see we have bits, steps that are randomly turned on and off. Now let's move to the rightmost sequencer because it's, it's empty, we, we didn't touch anything. The cool thing about corruption is that if we increase it from 0 to 1, one random step will generate random nodes. And in this specific example it is step number 4, as we can see from this uh, purple cross. Now if I reset corruption to 0 and I return it on, it will randomize that specific step. But what happens if we change the seed? So seed one, we press this button, now we turn on corruption, and we can see that the random node will be applied on step one. When corruption is set to zero, the melody will freeze, so you're going to listen to the same melody again and again. And this is the only way with Daedalus to save uh, a melody that you like. We can move to the center of the synthesizer where we can control the octave range. We can transpose the entire sequence two, two octaves below and two octaves above. We can change scale also from major to minor. From minor to Phrygian scale. We can also change the waveform type. And we have a dedicated envelope generation generator for both uh, section 1 and 2. We can change the decay time and the decay slope. Then we have wave folding and saturation, so we can produce very aggressive sounds uh, with the synthesizer, not only mellow and soothing sounds like the one you're hearing right now. And we have frequency modulation, so oscillator 2, which is the leftmost one, is modulating in frequency oscillator 1. Let's have a listen. We can also add modulation using the envelope 2. So let's turn on frequency modulation and use 
the envelope to to modulate the amount of frequency modulation. Frequency modulation has its dedicated LFO, which is a sine wave and can range from very low modulation, low frequency modulation up to 10 Hertz. Now, if you take a closer look, when we uh, decrease the LFO rate to zero, it will freeze in the current position. So from there, you can tweak the uh, frequency modulation amount manually. Same process for wave saturation, which turns your sine wave into a square wave, kind of and wave folding, which can fold your signal, your waveform, multiple times. So this wave folding can be very aggressive and you can use it in combination with the cutoff frequency of the this low pass filters. Make sure though to enable the filter. In this part, I want to show you how to use Daedalo within your DAW. So first thing, create a new track and load plug data as a VST3. Plug data FX, plug data. And here, essentially you're running plug data as a VST3. Nothing new from what we have seen before. You can load your uh, patch. So. In this example, mine was Daedalus Demo. And as you can see, we have the same patch with Daedalus and the output module. Now, um, never mind, because here I have also a delay module I designed. The process is the same. Now you can start Daedalus and you can turn on the volume. We can close this for a moment. What you need to do is to, at least in Reaper, but this is a common thing you can do on Eric DAW, you enter the input setting, input record setting. By default, it is set to input audio or MIDI, and you want to record output. And you select record output stereo. Hit record, we can see, it is recording the Daedalus performance. If you found this video useful, I invite you to leave a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to write a comment down below and tell me what you think about Daedalus, if you tried it, if you made uh, a track with it, share everything you do, please, because I'm very curious to know what you can do with Daedalus. That said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao ciao!